So this is one crop right there. The, the hull of that is the second crop, and the nut meat is the third crop. So the nut meat is the hardest part, but you said you might have something. Yeah, like the nut cracker. So like an industrial style nut cracker. You get a, whole, you get a couple yeah. buckets. And um, so we'll create a pile of that. Use gloves with these because this is a really strong dye. You can soak that with water and make a beautiful uh, dye or um, wood. But it's, it'll dye your hands. Could you dye fabric? Yeah, I'm just going to dye but um, there, you can also dry these and pulverize them. And I think there is a market, I've read about there being a market for the dry poles for a natural dye. That would be something, I mean, it's not is like it something. natural like sanding, isn't it? What? A sanding or something, isn't it? For yeah. the whole thing? Like that? it's that's the shells, for the shells, yeah, rather. The shells, the, wall, the walnut that's shelling. I'll get to that. That's, that's something different. So, um, I don't know that there's a ready market for it. I think it's probably something you would have to cultivate. And develop. Uh, you might be able to find somebody who will buy it from you, but I have read where five dollars a pound, approximately. Now, what Chris was talking about is the holes. After you take the nut meat out, uh, that's worth about uh, five dollars a pound as a dry media for people who are going to use use it to clean uh, guns or automotive parts. Gun the parts. the whole, the shells. And then the the meat itself is anywhere from fourteen dollars a pound to eighteen dollars a pound. Do you, do you have to like dry these nuts? Yeah, it's simple. So what you do is a three-part process. The first part of the process is, and everybody says excellent. So everybody says that uh, it's you wait till they get uh, you wait till they get black. You don't wait till they get black. When because they say black, they mean the outer part. Yeah, yes. so the outer part. When well, you wait till the outer part gets black, you don't do that because that can get into the nut meat and make it real astringent and bitter. You want to get it when it's nice and green like that. Okay, so you just do that. And I usually just have a board and I'll set, I have a wooden mallet and I'll just put a bunch of these out on the board just as fast as I can go, whack them out. You know, Y'all got a lot of people of here, get a lot of, get a I'm, black walnut party. Yeah, and I'll be at the farmer's market Wednesday and we'll split all of it with all of you. Well, you know, the thing about it is um, I wouldn't sell them now. Oh. I would let because you were asking about drying. You might, you might find that you can find some people who will buy them when they are in the hole, okay. like that. Because a really hard hole but to crack. Hard to crack. And so we we we're in the market to get a professional cracker. I mean, not the four hundred dollar one, maybe the seventy dollar one. Wow. And yeah. It's the, up to your drill, and you just drop them all in there, and it cracks them. I mean, you eventually. Get about, you get there's a something walking in. Is that cool? the highway abutment there, just past, you see it? I don't, the lower side of